I don't know yet. We will see. It was. It felt good. It felt much better than we thought before the game. It will feel. It was brilliant. Um, and after one or twenty minutes, um, investing all the things we invested in the game, the different and difficult circumstances for both teams. Um, of course, that uh, makes it even more worthy. So I can really imagine how Chelsea must have felt after that. Uh, they did nothing wrong in the game, and um, then you go home without that good feeling, but with exactly the same work. Um, um, rate and that's that's probably well, we're there on the better side. That's cool, but um, we came back yesterday, uh, had a little time to analyze Southampton, <laughs> and that's actually our our thing um, to think about, not what um, the Super Cup will bring us for the rest of the season because we don't know. Um, winning things is much better than losing them. That's that's true. Uh, we are now obviously more experienced in finals. We have. Uh, um, Kind of a rather winning approach. Then, um, how I said a couple of times, um, usually in I believe in the result is the result of the performance, and it's true. But it depends on the performance where you, where you are. Uh, spot on. You have to be clinical in the right moments. You have to be solid in all the other moments and stuff like this. And that's what we could do good enough to, to win this final as well. So that's it. That helps for the future if we play a final again. Um, but that's all. That would help him a lot um, if it would be 100% clear that he can play tomorrow. Because, and I really don't understand it, um, why in a, in a world of social media where you are all on it, um, when we were all together, a supporter jumped over something, was chased by some security guys, slipped. And kicked his ankle. Wow. Yeah, crazy. So uh, yesterday was swollen. Today I spoke to him. He's here. I spoke to him. He said it's better, uh, much better than yesterday. But we have to see. So, but apart from that, yes, it was a brilliant, it was a brilliant um, um, night for him, for sure. Not only because of the penalty. Especially because of the game, I think he saved the penalty, and he was in a mood. He was in a penalty shooting because of the game he played before, so that was all good. But now we have to see. Yeah, we will leave. We train uh, in two hours or so, and then uh, we will leave. Right. Um, my plan when I heard about the heard about the, the fixtures, so was to win on Wednesday, to win on Saturday, and to speak after. To speak about it after that, because if you if you speak about it earlier, it sounds like you're looking for excuses. I don't. We don't. It's like it is. But everybody who looks at it, it was um, was it right that we played on Friday and Chelsea on Sunday? No. Was it now? And the other thing, we cannot change. So that's the situation. But um, we cannot change these things. We have no power. Absolutely nil point nil power. We only have to accept it like it is, and that's what we do. And now um, we don't think about it. We don't think about Wednesday night. We think about Saturday, and that's what we um, what we have to do. And um, so find a way to to win the game. That's the reason why we go there, and that's possible. And so that's um, what we should try. Simon, um, is Andrew on the Just in case. Um, you, yeah. Queef McKellar, McKellar is um, now in training as well. So we have then, if we have to make a decision, we have to make a decision. Yeah. So, but um, yes, of course, they all. It's mm -hmm. Nobody. Adrian came in a week before. Andy Lonergan uh, trained longer with us. Played half time, I think. Um, uh, maybe Sevilla. I'm not sure. One of the preseason games. Um, Queef, which we all are completely excited about. The young boy with, uh, with the potential, yes, and stuff like that, <laughs> was not in training for a while, but is now in training, not 100% training, but nearly 100% um, since a week and a half, I would say, um, will be, has to be in training today, and then we will see, and then we have to make a decision. Oh, it was positive, physically especially. Um, I, I, we, all, we all know that Ox, uh, with the potential he has, um, like, 
can have much more impact than he had in that game, but it's normal and after a long period and um, there can be surprising um, ups in, in a situation like this and then there will be, but they will follow it down 100% because just you need to get used to all the intensity and stuff like this. Position he didn't play for a while, yes, in preseason, he played it from time to time, um, all that stuff. That's why I said it was my responsibility, not his, um, because I made a decision to play him there. And, um, and he, but he was, he, he was good, he played a pass for a sensational chance of uh, Mo Salah, so there, there was absolutely, and we are, I'm completely fine with it. That Ox was maybe not overly happy that we took him off after 45 minutes. <laughs> He didn't say anything, but I can imagine. Um, but it doesn't mean anything. It's uh, just it was um, 45 minutes and that intensity in that team, in that game. But the first half was really lively, and um, I think it was absolutely um, worth it. And um, so now we have to carry on. He has to carry on. We have to carry on, and then everything will be fine. I don't want to talk about the quick, uh, the short period we have. So that's, uh, I did it already. But I said my plan was to talk after the game about it, win both, and then say what um, is probably appropriate to say. Um, uh, yeah, Southampton lost 3-0 goals. Um, um, Burnley full of power, um, using circumstances, stuff like this. Um, and then they, they gave the game away in, in like 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but Southampton is a really strong side with a very specific um, style of play. And we, we, we had enough time to analyse them. It's just on the day when you come back, it's never, we never take longer. <laughs> and we have, it was just that we had to do it last night immediately after coming back from the other game. So we saw um, two preseason games, watched them, and saw the, uh, the game against Burnley. So we have all the information we need. They have the opportunity. They can make a few changes, but they, they didn't play as bad as the 3-0 uh, looks and they will be still full of uh, desire and, and, and confidence and, and maybe even more so, of course, desire because of the, because the, the way how they lost the game at Burnley. Last year was a difficult game for us there. We were 1-0 down early, had to stay calm, stuff like this, and it was really difficult the way they played. They played Last year made our analysis a bit tricky because they played against all the other teams different to how they played against us. Um, and we don't know that, of course, 100% what they, what they will do. We have to expect both and uh, have to be prepared for both. That's the job to do. That's normal. Um, how I said, it's early stage of the season. We all have the same chances. We all have the same jobs to do. And um, now, yeah, let's do it. Oh, the boys there are natural talents out there physically, and it's, it's obvious. I think um, if you saw Kanté playing, um, everybody, I would say that the three players who suffered the least in that game were um, Kanté, Sadio, and Mo. <laughs> That's how it is. So they are more used to play in, in, in circumstances like that. That's how it is. Physically, really strong, all three of them, and so that helped, of course. And it was a pure um, decision based on responsibility. To, to get him off and not let him go the full 120 minutes. How could you? Otherwise, why would you take off a player who scored two goals and, and looked pretty okay in that moment? Still, yeah, very important for us that he's back 100%. And um, how I said, now we have to make sure and have a look um, how they all recovered. I, we saw each other last yesterday when we left the plane, and now I will see them in, in an hour or so, and um, then we have to to make decisions there as well. But uh, brilliant, this is the first goal. With Bobby together, pure will. The second goal with Bobby together, pure um, extra class. Yeah, that's that's just um, was just unbelievable. And um, but what Mo played now since we started the season is incredible as well because he had, how we all know, not the longest preseason in the world. And um, so that's that's all good. But that's how we need them, and that's hopefully will continue forever. It depends on what you compare us to. Um, if you compare us to August last year, it's not that big a difference. Um, it's uh, two things. I'm not sure what you, how you felt after the game against Chelsea, because it's uh, the thing is they had a lot of finishes when they were offside, and they don't whistle them off when they don't go in the goal. You get a goal kick and not offside. Um, situation, so you don't even watch it back. It's just um, what they had when we when we make the analysis of a game, and you see that it was two, three yards offside, not only a little bit. So it means that's good defending. 
but they still have a finish, which everybody counts. If not here, then you count it here. You feel, and again, the chance they had again a shot and stuff like this. We know that we have to improve. We know that they have to uh, do a couple of things, um, but that few things will just come because we are then longer together, had different situations, get used to it again. I said it before, football is unfortunately not like cycling. It's not that you, you can lose it a little bit, and that's how it is. So we have to find um, back on our best path, if you want, and um, that's, that's what, we, what we try. But um, as I said, especially in the early stage of the season, you ha always have to find a way to win the game. That's all what you have to do. And um, we played City, obviously, one of the best teams, if not the best team in the world. We played Chelsea. I think everybody who thought they cannot play football anymore so uh, learned it now better. Um, that um, um, they are, have an outstandingly good team and full of skill and all that stuff. And we played Norwich, which um, yeah, they had chances, but that's normal for the start of the season. Um, we scored for, and then we didn't react exactly like you wish for. That's normal as well. We need to get used to that as well, to control the game and, and, and in a better way, stuff like this. And that's that's all normal. It's all about analyze is important, criticism is sometimes important. It's but it's all about getting used to the situations again, work on the details and then everything will be fine. We didn't get worse over the summer in defending. Why should we? There's no reason for that. It's just um, other teams have good players as well and we respect that. If everybody else respects that as well, everything is okay.